what matters is the range boundaries okay this is the range low extreme low defined and this is the extreme high defined by the same time by the swings right so these these serve as the two main reference point bent points based on the price action this is what makes them support and resistance people look at them that's what makes it work okay Truth is that as long as we trade inside this, okay, inside this 42, 43, 48, 47 region, whatever, as long as we trade inside and beneath the boundaries, this is not bearish, not bullish, just sideways neutral. It is not a trend. The market is not trending. And because of that, I do not recommend any leveraged positions, uh, too many investments, too many trades at the same time, counter trading, revenge trading, none of that applies well. Okay, none of that would apply well to give you decent results inside the range. The market trends whenever there is a breakout retest, right, which would eventually lead and make it go past, you know, in my opinion, those those fifty fifty one thousand dollar region. Okay, that if you if you like move down from twelve hour to four hour chart, you can tell that the very pre drop, the pre breakdown level support, the very final you know level that after which was broken, the crash started happening was the $52,000, okay, this, this very, this very, this very level. And as long as we really see, you know, the price action between the boundaries of 47, let's say $48,000 and 42.8, then from the price action point of view, it does not change much because it's still the same sideways. And you can see news, you can see price going up, then going down immediately, like chart patterns bull looking bullish and breaking down, chart patterns looking bearish and breaking up, Trend lines that you know not working. This is always the same pattern, and this is PTSD. The market is searching for any sort of like glimpse of rationality, if you ask me, of rational, and it's not going to find it for some time. And essentially, uh, like inside the range, you have the volume defined sideways range. Okay, volume defined range is forty three point five up to forty six point five. So it is three thousand dollar region. So we can tell that the average. Average resistance to average support distance is equal to three thousand dollars. Okay, so whenever you see you know breakout an eventual breakout towards the upside, right? Then from the breakout level, from the breakout level, which is pretty much like this forty six, forty seven thousand dollar region, you add based on volume on average safely about three thousand dollars in the upside direction, which places you somewhere around fifty thousand dollars. And this fifty thousand dollars is the area that where you should be pretty much just paying attention uh, because of the pre previously mentioned levels be acting as resistances. Okay, so it all kind of like you know makes complete puzzle. It all makes sense if you ask me. If you just pay the attention to to the, what what the volume weighted average prices tell you, to what the price action tells you, to what the sentiment tells you. Okay, to what the chart pattern action tells you. Like and it's PTSD uh regular you know kind of like volatility thing and everybody that's that's all i got for you today and i hope you are staying safe and yeah god bless you guys stay safe and everybody peace out cheers